Hey, what's going on guys? I'm God of War and today I'm going to show you a very easy round 100 ascension strategy that also involves not spawning in the monkeys. So this does require some gobble gum, but this is a very, very easy strategy. So for your gobble gum, before we get into this, you're going to want to make sure that you have a bullet boost, a wall power, a crate power, a perkaholic, and alchemical antithesis. These are the gobble gums you're going to want to run for this strategy. Now this is a very specific strategy with gobble gum, but I'll upload more of these that don't involve gobble gum in the future just for this one It is very easy with the gobble gum because you can completely avoid the monkey round So what you want to do in the very beginning of your game is just knife the zombies build up some points And you're gonna be hitting your gobble gum for either wall power or crate power Either one of those will work if you get wall power We're gonna be doing this first because that's what I got in my gameplay But if you get crate power, you're just gonna be hitting the box for the thunder gun if you have wall power Go ahead and head over to the RK5 and what you're going to want to do is purchase that. Again, don't turn on the power because this is going to completely avoid the monkeys spawning in. If you don't turn the power switch on, you can use your gobble gum to get all of your setup on ascension and never have to deal with the monkeys. So Perkaholic is actually really good for this. So once you have your wall power, you just go ahead and purchase that RK5. It's on the wall right next to Widow's Wine in the area that we're going to be camping at later on in the strategy. Hit it with the wall power, it'll become Pack-a-Punch, and that is the only wall power they're going to be using in this video. After that, you're going to want to hit the Gobble Gum for either Crate Power or Bullet Boost. I got Crate Power, so once you get Crate Power, all you're going to want to do is hit the box for the Thunder Gun. You don't necessarily need the Thunder Gun Pack-a-Punch, but it does have more ammo this way, and it makes it a little bit easier since we're not going to get Monkey Around, so we're not guaranteed max ammos as often as if we were playing with the Monkeys. So just hit the box. Head for the Thunder Gun. Once you get the Thunder Gun, pick it up. Once you have crate power, it will become Pack-a-Punched, and that is the second part of this setup done. Now you're gonna wanna get Bullet Boost. So go back to the Gobble Gun machine and continue to hit it until you get the Bullet Boost Gobble Gum. What this does is it will give you a Pack-a-Punch effect so we can completely avoid the Pack-a-Punch and turning on the power on this map. So with the RK5 in hand, activate Bullet Boost and you're gonna wanna get Deadwire. It's the best for the strategy. It's a very strong Pack-a-Punch effect. So continue to activate it until you get Deadwire. If you don't get another Bullet Boost, try it again. Continue until you get the Deadwire Pack-a-Punch effect. After that, if you have Mule Kick, your third gun's completely optional. It does not matter what gun you get. I'd recommend an automatic weapon for later on in high rounds for the insta-kills, but the Dracon is very strong on the early rounds. So now once you have your setup, you're going to want to head over towards the Widow's Wine area, right next to where the lander is located. And all you're going to want to do is run a train right here with the RK5, with Deadwire. If you have trouble with this and you get stuck, you're going to want to pull out the Thunder Gun. The Thunder Gun is only here for backup. You don't need to run the Thunder Gun at all if you don't want to, if you feel very confident running this train spot, but it is very good for getting out of tricky situations and getting max ammos. Another thing that's very useful is Gersh devices, but you don't necessarily need them. So all you want to do is run a circle right next to this lander. It's a big open area, and all you want to do is run a train, shoot them with your RK5, and the dead wire will kill nine zombies at a time. You can activate this about every five seconds. Alchemical is great if you run out of Thunder Gun ammo, so hit the Gobble Gun machine for that as well. Just have the Alchemical ready in case you ever do run out of the Thunder Gun ammo. Here's an example of what you can do with the Gersh devices. If you see a max ammo, you can throw all of your Gersh devices out. Again, they're not necessary, but I would recommend them if you can get them from the box because they are very, very good. All you want to do again is run the train here. Here is an example at round 25 of me running out of ammo and the Thunder Gun, what you can do with it. So if you're running completely out of ammo, you can just pull out the Thunder Gun. I shoot a couple shots for the HVK, but it's not doing anything because it's round 25. And then the Thunder Gun comes out. You can kill the horde of zombies and you can go purchase more RK5 ammo. Or you can even throw a couple Gersh devices, whatever you want to do. But all you want to do is run a giant circle in the Lunar Lander area. And it is very easy to get high rounds. Monkeys will never come in if you don't turn on the power. And you never have to worry about losing your Perkaholic. Which, in my opinion, the only thing that makes Ascension hard is the monkeys coming and stealing your perks. Without turning the power on, you completely avoid this, and with the right gobble, gu gobble gum, you could easily get high rounds on this map. It's very, very easy to do. So just run trains here, and your rounds will start to stack up very, very fast. So that has been the Ascension Round 100 strategy. You can do this even past round at 100 if you want. It's really up to you, but this is how you would do it without the monkeys. There's other strategies you can do as well that involve monkeys, but this one I believe is one of the easiest because you never have to worry about losing your perks on this map. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later with some more Zombie Chronicles videos. Peace.